How's it going guys? Will here, and if you've been following this channel for any length of time, then you may already know that I am a huge fan of my mechanical keyboards. I'm not personally a big fan of the overly gamery keyboards, I much prefer the more bespoke keyboards, which you may or may not have seen me either review or build on this channel. Going along with this, the first step I always recommend when going into customizing your mechanical keyboard is to get a good set of keycaps. I personally much prefer a nice set of keycaps over RGB lighting, they feel better and they can make your keyboard look super unique. The next thing I'd recommend before shelling out a ton of money on like a custom underglow case, seriously those things can get crazy expensive, is a custom cable. Like keycaps, it's an easy way of making your keyboard look unique without taking it apart. However, when I got into mechanical keyboards, my options were kind of limited, because like most other keyboard related items, custom cables can get really expensive. So, in comes the Aseni Custom Cable. Aseni is a keyboard company I've reviewed a product from before, and to this day, it's still my go-to recommendation for a budget keyboard, provided you're okay with optical switches. So when they reached out to me and told me about their new cable, I definitely wanted to take a look. Full disclosure, they did reimburse me for these two cables. However, I haven't been told to say anything. Everything that I say in this video is 100% my own. Okay, so now we got that out of the way, let's take a look at what we get in the box. Well, actually... It's more of a bag. The first thing we get is, of course, the cable. After this, we get the two connection pieces that you plug into the main section, depending on whether your keyboard is mini USB or USB-C. I love this, and we're gonna be talking more about what this means later on. We also get an animal that you can attach to the cable. It's not fixed on, but I do personally think this is a nice touch. There's also a sticker reading, no one has licked the cable, which is good to know. I personally stuck it on my phone. And of course, a manual. The main section of this cable is braided, which I always like to see, and around half a centimeter in diameter. So not too thick that it becomes difficult to manage, but also not too thin that it deteriorates from the build quality and might blend into your desk. After all, we want this to stand out. There's also this metal connector which feels generally solid and in my opinion, looks awesome. The screwing connector does however feel a little weak. Don't get me wrong, it's not like an aluminium can, but I do think this would be the first thing to go. The plastic animal also doesn't feel overly durable, but it's not essential to the way the keyboard functions and as long as you don't overstretch it, it should be totally fine. The final negative for the build quality comes with the USB plug. It's not the strongest I've ever felt, but it is, however, nice and thin. A massive positive, which we're going to be talking about next. Overall, there are some areas where this cable falls short in terms of build quality, but all in all, it does feel solid, and there's no areas that cause any major concern. Moving on, we have compatibility. Because of the previously stated thin USB plugs, I've been able to plug these into all of my mechanical keyboards with absolutely no issues. This is a huge plus, because sometimes mechanical keyboard manufacturers do make very thin ports. So it's nice that for probably most of the mechanical keyboard market that use USB-C and mini USB ports, this cable will work and the port won't be too thick. Huge plus in my opinion. Following on from this, we have color options of which there are multiple so it can be easily tailored to your keyboard and your desk. I got the pink cable and the blue cable and depending on which color you choose, you will get a different animal. For example, the pink one has the bunny and the blue one has the mouse. I've been using the blue cable with the Echo Ocean Star for obviously blue reasons and the pink cable with the Ascendi 60% because I actually have the RGB lighting in this keyboard set to pink. So yeah, it's a nice color match. I will probably also use the pink cable for my up and coming magic force build. That's gonna be a pink and white build and I genuinely cannot wait to get started with it. It's been so long since I've built a keyboard. Yeah, cannot wait to get started with that. If neither of these colors are to your liking, there are more color options available and I think it's good that there are more options than just the standard black and white. So yeah, overall I like the range of colors. Next up we have a big pro when it comes to these keyboard cables price point. One of these cables will set you back around 30 bucks and considering that's cheaper than most others on the market, it's also cheaper than most custom keycap sets so it's a pretty cheap way of making your keyboard look unique. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about what I'd like to see in future versions of this cable. Something I would like to see in a future iteration would be a more solid USB plug, only of course if it doesn't compromise functionality, and I'd also like to see individually sold ends, so if there's a more obscure keyboard connector, or if one gets damaged, you don't have to buy an entirely new cable. So yeah, overall I really like this cable. As I said before, I personally think what Aseni's doing with this cable is great, they're bringing a higher end product to a much nicer price, and providing more and more options to the budget side of the mechanical keyboard market to help make our keyboard our own. Alright guys, so as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this and smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now and I will see you guys in the next one.